I'm Mountain Mom and Tots fans. I'm going to talk about the only ski training tools I ever recommend when teaching your kid to ski. Are you ready? Here they are. First, if you're going to teach a young child to ski, I absolutely recommend using an edgy wedgy or a tip to tip connector. A tip to tip connector is a very simple tool that attaches to the front of your child's skis. What it does is it helps your child create a wedge more easily with their skis. This is essential for children age seven and younger. You must have an edgy wedgy. It just makes it so much easier. Kids that young have better gross motor skills than fine motor skills. So to ask them to bend their knees, spread their heels apart, put more pressure on the inside edge of their skis, and then maintain that and their balance the whole way down the hill, that's really asking a lot. A tip to tip connector helps them keep their feet in the right position so they don't have to think about doing all those things at once. It makes your life a lot happier as a parent because it prevents a lot of falls that would have happened otherwise. It prevents their skis from crossing. It prevents them from doing the splits and having them fall. It makes life a lot easier. So you definitely should get a tip to tip connector if you are skiing with kids age seven and younger. There's a link down below in this video and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, the second ski training tool that I recommend would only be used in certain scenarios, and that is a hula hoop. Now, I used to be a ski instructor at Sundance Mountain Resort, and we would use a hula hoop only in certain conditions. First of all, if you have a child who turns into a wet noodle anytime they get close to you, if they try and lean on you, or if they want to always ski between your skis, that's gonna not work very well because they'll never learn how to maintain their own body weight on their own. Your job as a parent when you're skiing with kids is to stay safe and have fun. Your child's job is to maintain their body weight and learn how to control their speed and stop. So if you have a child who wants to be connected to you, but keeps on turning into a wet noodle, a hula hoop can really help. The way you would use this is like this. You would have the child inside the hula hoop skiing in front of you, and then you ski holding onto the back of the hula hoop behind them. This way you can help control their speed and the hula hoop is sturdy enough that it gives them a little bit of stability. Another way of skiing with a hula hoop is for you as the parent to ski downhill from the student, have your child hold on to the hula hoop, and then you will ski backwards down the hill. You will hold on to the other end of the hula hoop, and together you can help push them, prop them up from below so that they can maintain their own body weight. A hula hoop is great if you have a child who is having a hard time maintaining their body weight. It is also a very awkward thing to carry around with you while you're skiing. So use it judiciously. One quick tip, if you have a hula hoop and you're riding on a chairlift, put the hula hoop all the way down so it rests on top of your ski boots as you're riding up the hill. You should still have enough movement so that you can get off the ski lift without it tripping you up and it's out of everybody's way. It's a lot harder to hold onto a hula hoop and help a young child and get on and off the ski lift at the right time. The third ski training tool that I sometimes recommend is a ski harness. In general, I do not recommend a ski harness. As a ski instructor, I never ever used a ski harness on any of the students. You don't really need them if you are keeping your students on terrain that is appropriate for their skill level. So please don't use a harness as an excuse to have a child go on terrain that is too steep for them. It's just not fun for anyone. The only time I have used a ski harness is when I went skiing with my own children before I was a trained ski instructor. 
In that scenario, I had two kids of very different skill levels. My daughter was a beginner. My son was a solid green skier. He wanted to go fast. I couldn't let him ski on his own. He was still too young, but my daughter didn't have the skills to be totally in control on her own. In that scenario, and only that scenario, I would use a ski harness to ski down the hill all together as a family. In addition to a ski harness, there is one ski training tool that I've used and liked called a slope rope. It really is just a rope with a jump rope handle. It is like an extended hula hoop. It does a similar job as a ski harness, but is designed for a, a slightly more advanced beginner skier. Someone who isn't totally in need of you to constantly pick them up all the time. Slope ropes I liked a lot better because they were easier to use. You could just tuck them in a pocket. You didn't have all of the straps and leashes and everything that you had to worry about, especially on chairlifts. You have to make sure those are all tucked in and secured before you go on a chairlift because you don't want anything to get tangled. So if you're going to use some sort of a harness, I recommend slope ropes over a full body harness. But again, that's only if you have a more advanced beginner. If you're going to use a ski harness, I highly, highly recommend you buy one that attaches at the child's hips. A lot of them attach like a backpack and it will pull them off balance. Your child's job when learning to ski is learning how to maintain their own body weight and how to stop. Making them pull their body weight backwards to the back of their skis is detrimental to both of those goals. So if you have a child who is in a ski harness, get one that attaches at the child's waist. That way you can help control and help them turn just slightly with a little tug here or there. Hopefully they will be in total control of their own speed and those leashes to the ski harness will be nice and slack. All right, those are the ski training tools that I recommend when skiing, teaching a child to ski. If you want more details, go ahead and click the links below and also be sure to check out mountainmomandtots.com slash ski school where I have a whole ski training program for patrons on how to teach your child how to ski. All right, I'll see you on the slopes.